snow day? Okay, all right. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna be pretty chill. <laughs> Omelets, very popular. Hyper day is temperature drops so low that it sends everyone into instant hibernation. Frozen in place till they thaw out the next day. <laughs> Every year, one townsperson disappears. What? And there's the weird dark turn. Possible goodbye while possible goodbye. Damn, this is dark. No, I'm warm blooded. That's gross, Anne. It means I won't freeze. I can be your protector. What? <laughs> Holy crap! Already? All right, we got our winter oh, outfit going. I like it. Okay, I'm bored. Wow. Can you do that? Where am I? What's going on? I'm thinking we should let nature run its You say that. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, yo, you need your beauty sleep, my dude. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, got it. <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Uh oh. No, 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 no. I smell a Polly in that creepy cave. Of course she is. Polly. Oh my god, I'm oh, terrified. Polly. How'd she get up? No! What in the heck? Yo, this thing eats the frogs? Holy crap! Wow, pointy. Don't give me that, you're still killing them. Oh, no. You shouldn't kidnap Polly just to feed yourself. And if we take her, you'll all starve. Are you gonna give him Polly? <laughs> this makes more sense. That would've got dark as hell, can you imagine? <laughs> now that's a protector. Let there be light. Huh? I slacked off when I should've been watching you. I unfroze Sprig when I got bored. I'm just an irresponsible kid. I wouldn't have said all that. You're admitting that means you're more responsible than you think. I guess. But you proved that we can depend on you. Funny photos we took. <gasps> no! That's my body. <gasps> That's my body. Cracking Mrs. Croker? What? <laughs> Thanks for your help in the tea shop the other day. Always get points with the mom. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> People around here really seem to like spring. Yep, hi, Mrs. Croker! Boy, ain't got time for your bullshit. Hello, Anne. Polly. Hi, Mrs. Crow. I don't think Mrs. <laughs> Croker likes me. It's okay if one person doesn't like you. After you, my lady. What? Don't you hate when they don't say thank you? <laughs> wow, that's... Knowledge, <laughs> What? What? That's the saddest thing I've ever... Just let it go. You know what, Anne? You're right. I can't just let this go. I have to break into her house, search through her belongings, find the key to her secret wishes, and make them all come true. I'm totally likable. Well, you can be a bit... Whoa, hello. Likable. In the heat of the swamp? What the... <laughs> That's gonna be hard to forget. <laughs> the stuff back, we're leaving. What? No! Come on, Sprig! Mrs. Croker? Dang! Damn! Uh, you're... Hold on, who is that? Long lost love! Jonah this, Jonah that, a map of where he might be! I've been searching for Sadie for 30 years! Uh, okay, I don't know about this. That handsome bachelor happens to be the frog that is going to make Mrs. Croker like me. Prepare to die! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, bro, I wasn't going You got the best of me in Bogwater Canyon, but I haven't forgotten little frog leaving me. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she got the moves. What the? I'm, I'm strangely invested right now. Well, that wrapped up pretty quickly. Word of this gets out. Let's just say it would be a very everyone. What makes you think you can please everyone, kid? What did I do? Why don't you like me? I don't know. Something about your big eyes and goofy smile rubbed me the wrong way. You'd go through all that trouble to get me to like you. I guess I can try and like you back. Like me! Oh, yeah! You like walked me. right into that one. Good luck getting rid of him now. <laughs> Damn I'm it. I'm oh, hey! Oh, look at this! <laughs> Change of pace, even though we're kind of uh, in the summer right now. Still, hey, I like the little jingles to it. Man, I kind of wish this had lyrics, honestly. It would have been great.
So let's talk about this over here. All right, so first episode, we kind of got our first little winter episode in the sense of frogs got to hibernate, this and that. And, you know, for some reason, some of them end up disappearing. But Anne, being your good girl over here, you know, she's not a frog. She doesn't have to deal with anything like that. So she decides she's going to go ahead and watch over the people. And as predicted, she just kind of messed around <laughs> with everybody. But the valuable lesson in all of this was that, you know... Technically, she's not as responsible as she thought she was. She was just a goofy kid, but her telling the people of that, you know, kind of makes her more responsible. And then Spring had to go ahead and blow it by showing them all the photos. <laughs> it's like, was that my body that you just used? <laughs> But also the other thing that was uh, funny about it was like, you know, uh, hey, I guess natural selection, the, the weasel, the fairy, whatever the heck that animal was, you know, has kids. So it's not like it was eating the people just for itself. You know, it had kids. But at the same time, it's like that thing ate the townspeople. Holy crap. You guys got to quarantine that area or something. So that episode. All right. Pretty silly. It was uh, kind of funny to see Spring just, you know, basically lose it. He needs his beauty sleep is, you know, what ultimately went down over here and interrupted that. And, you know, whew, gotta get that sleep, my dude. Sleep is very important. So the second episode is something, okay, that one I can understand and relate to a lot more in the sense that, you know, everyone likes you, but there's always that one person that doesn't like you, and it's, like, kind of annoying and irritating, like, why? Why don't you like me? You, you don't like me just because you don't like me? That's... BS, give me a reason at least. But at the same time, when you get old and stuff, like, you learn to really not care anymore. Hey, it's that person's loss, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, they're missing out on all this good stuff over here. You know, Spring got a little too deep into this, and the person that he found out, Jonah, was actually a psychotic madman. He was literally trying to kill her. That's crazy. But of course, the also main important thing that we saw from that episode is that Mrs. Croker was hot. Bam. <laughs> rip it, rip it. It's funny how they always do that, but uh, nonetheless, you know, pretty, these episodes were alright, alright, not my favorite, but they were okay, you know, we still gotta do as much goofy stuff as we possibly can before we get into that good old juicy plot. So you guys would want to in the comment section below, you know, hey, uh, what do you think of the episodes? Which one did you like more? Has that ever bothered you that someone didn't like you, you never knew why? Or did you actually find out why said person didn't like you? Better have been a good reason or something. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big, big, big thumbs up as it really helps me out. You're on already, you can follow me on Twitter, same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I am also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag, one, two, three, four, five, where I post all the good stuff so until next time my dudes i'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal we'll see you soon hey.